This essentially was the same thing as putting in a boot full of right rudder in an area that's already prone to departure. The end result was that the aircraft departed in yaw in, at over 120 degrees per second to the right. So essentially what we have happening is by simple application of a rapid aft stick, we end up with an intense high yaw rate to the right. The airplane departed from controlled flight. This was as expected. What we were looking to make sure would happen was that the flight controls would have enough authority after the departure to recover the airplane, which they did, and everything was fine. The test pilot flew a test point, which involved uh, a test point in the transonic region, so high subsonic, above 35,000 feet. What happened was the aircraft was rolled to the right, and a very rapid onset of the stick was made. So essentially an abrupt, sharp aft stick input. The good news is that in subsequent investigations after the fact, we were able to look at the actual gross weight of the aircraft at the time of the departure and determine that we were at a fairly low gross weight. The effect of that is that the rolling G limits were actually higher than we thought they were at the time of the departure. Result, no overstress, test program is continuing on as we speak.